So today we're working with Omaze to offer you a chance to win a $130,000 custom tiny home from True Form Tiny and support a great cause, the National Park Foundation. Omaze is a company that offers the chance for people to win one-in-a-lifetime prizes, all while helping nonprofits make the world a better place. The True Form Tiny home offered in this particular experience is very cool, as you can see in this video. I wouldn't mind winning it myself. I particularly like all the windows they've installed to let in the light. Simply go to the website using our custom URL below, click the Enter Now button and select the number of entries you would like. And your donation supports the National Park Foundation, which works to protect wildlife and park lands, preserve history and culture, and educate and engage youths. To date, Omaze has raised over $150 million for charity. Thanks, Omaze! Jesus.
<laughs> Forget it. I went for the big cut at the end and uh, <clears throat> nope. <laughs> uh, but this is one of my favorites breakfast sandwich. Van Ass. What you're seeing here is my setup for my COVID haircut last night. One mirror here, one mirror on the other counter, chair in between. Actually works pretty well, and I think I'm getting a little bit better at. Uh, Doing it a little faster, a little fewer, probably fewer bald spots. I don't know, can you, how does it look? <laughs> Am I peeking on top? <laughs> anyway, had to be done. It was getting pretty crazy. Anyway, we're gonna dive into this sucker and it's all gonna fall apart in three, two, one <laughs> mostly still together oh but it's so good mm. Oops. hey everyone welcome back to raspberry rock i'm russell Another beautiful day, which is great for us, the batteries. Um, they should be full. They should be about full now, or very soon. And i got to plug in my old batteries at some point and charge them up just to make sure that, you know, they lose their charge slowly over time, so they need to charge once in a while. And i got to do it before winter time because I just can't afford too much solar, and right now we've got so much of it. Anyway, uh, today's the day. I'm taking my ATV in for service. It desperately needs it. The front wheel drive still doesn't work. Seat needs to be replaced. You saw that. Uh, and there's probably a bunch of other stuff that needs to be done to it that I don't know. I mean, it's making some weird noises. So we're going to do that. We're going to take it down to Cartronics and Napanee. 
Unfortunately, they no longer take appointments. I used to be able to say, I'm going to be in this date, and that's the date they would look at my ATV, but they don't do that anymore. Very few shops do that. Do, do that. And my stepbrother's shop up in Aurelia, uh, he sold his share of the business. And last time I talked to them, they're like, nope, just drop it off. We'll get to it when we get to it. I'm like, okay, now that my brother isn't there. <laughs> Sons of bitches. Anyway, yeah, so I talked to them this morning, uh, Cartronics, that is, and uh, they said... They're a week and a week and a half to two weeks. You drop your ATV off and they'll look at it in a week and a half to two weeks, which is nuts for me. I use my ATV a lot. Uh, anyway, I'm taking my backpack because we'll be walking back in. If I pick up anything in town, I'm going to backpack it in. I'm also going to stop by at that beaver dam. And uh, I'm sure it's rebuilt by now. I'm sure they started like four o'clock yesterday and started to rebuild it. But anyway, I'm going to take both dogs because they... Uh, Junebug certainly needs some exercise, and it'll be a nice walk back in without the ATV, you know, and it's just a nice leisurely stroll through the woods. Anyway, we're gonna go. They do good work, don't they? Look at all the way out to there. Holy shadow of the way here. Look at this. Incredible. That's amazing. I don't even know that the water level went down that much. <sighs> Okay, I'm out of here.
they got some really interesting machines around here. I gotta say. What are these? Wow. Snazzy. I could uh I could go for one of these. City girl in the passenger seat. I wonder if this would be a more comfortable ride on the trail. Commander XT. I wonder how much they are. <laughs> Probably really expensive, like you know, worth more than our new RAV4. It's a slightly different thing than that. Should cover it up. It's getting dirty. These must be <laughs> these must be all the ATVs waiting for service, right? Oh, oh well. And we do. So I'm uh, in Tweed. Just had a sub, of all things. Look who I came across. Hello. Good See, afternoon. This is my job for today. I'm trying to hang these up today. Coming. Okay. Another one oh. on the other. Hi. Right. You're putting up two today? Yeah, yeah, the, the one on this side and the one on the other side. So I've loaded them oh, that I way, see. so this is the one for the other face, because this was one with a frame. Right? Oh. So, yeah. The wizard has put together this device to hang up these signs with. Yeah. Because he's done a lot of them. How many signs have you done so far? Oh, I think 24 or something. 24. They're big, eh? They're heavy. Mm-hmm. I can see that. I was going to say, that ladder doesn't look big enough. This one? Yeah. It's just a little step ladder. I don't think you're going to get up that high, although you are very tall. Oh, I got another ladder laying down. Oh, yeah. I'm such a funny guy. I'm, I'm really funny. Let's see the other side of this. Yep. Oh! Fingerprint on it. So in my infinite wisdom, these are the items I've decided is acceptable to carry in. But uh, nobody ever said I was the brightest bulb in the clove of garlic. <coughs> anyway. Hang out there for a sec. Otherwise, it should be a, a nice walk in. I should probably not put this cold thing on the hot car. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so and I've got my shirt in here and my subway thing. All right, we're gonna go. I keep forgetting that I'm on these medications and that uh, one of them is keeping my heart rate low. Like, Regardless of what I'm doing, it's keeping my heart rate low. And it's when I get doing something that I'll suddenly remember. It's like my body's starving for oxygen. Or something like that. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a human mechanic. So it's at times when I'm at rest. For example, sitting in my car. And I think, it's just a few groceries. I can carry those in a backpack to the cabin. That's not so difficult, right? And then I take 10 steps and I was like, oh, holy fuck. This is ridiculous, especially hills like this. this. I know this hill doesn't look like much in videos, but it's pretty steep. <laughs> uh. I can't wait till uh, 
you know, I'm off these drugs. Because no AFib and no drugs means I gotta take this thing to pound town. And I know how to do it. Hour on the treadmill twice a day. That's it. I don't even have to run. Just a brisk walk. That's it. I mean, and I'll probably get some jogging in there anyway. Because you gotta practice for when the zombies come, you know? You don't, be, you don't wanna be the slowest runner in the room. No, sir. Pound town? Is that right? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go to the cabin, Russell. Stop all this nattering. Pick up your... Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I get tired every 10 steps. <laughs> See, I was at rest there. This is what my brain does to me. <sighs> Can't win. Remember when I was putting gas in the HV the other day? I'd lost the gas cap. Or I forgot to put it back on, and I just found it now on the trail. <laughs> Thought I was gonna have to buy a new one. <sighs> anyway, home sweet home. <sighs> I knew I was gonna make it. Ooh. All right, guys, so <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm, uh, we're doing an off-grid uh, solar power installation here. At, we are in the middle of Nowheresville here at this beautiful rustic cabin. Um, and they're, they've been doing some cleaning up of their front yard here. And we're do so the solar power system is going over there. But uh, my first time here, I've never seen this place before, but um, I was talking to the homeowner. And I said, is there good fishing in there? And he said, yeah, best bass fishing in Ontario? He's like, you can go fishing. And I said, oh, well, you know, we got work to do, although Ray's not here just yet. And he came, he came out with his fishing rod. <laughs> he says they catch 10 pound bass in here. 10 pound bass. Are you kidding? Oh, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous here. This is uh, quite the spot. Wait the spot. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna do some fishing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> Frog on there. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it.
good, Morty. May I take your order? Yeah, can I get a sausage bagel belt? On a sausage bagel belt? On a four cheese bagel. All right. With mayo. All right, add mayo. And a large decaf double double. Large decaf double double? Yep. Is that everything? Yep. 865 coming up. Thank you. <coughs> So Ray messaged me last night to say that uh, they actually finished most of the work uh, yesterday and that there's very little to do today except that um, last night I guess they were in the dark when they finished and you need light to be able to configure and test the, the system. He said sunlight and we're not seeing a lot of sunlight right now but they were calling for sunlight. So I'm heading up there just to uh, kind of go over everything and uh, make sure they did everything right. <laughs> Not like I know. <laughs> I can certainly inspect the physical things. I know how this is supposed to work. But nice and quick this morning. This is great. I thought it was just teens. I'm just gonna check it, make sure they put the mayo in. It's like they've forgotten. So, I don't mean this Tim Hortons in particular, like every Tim Hortons is like that. I've, so many times I've asked for mayo, and so many times I haven't gotten any. But uh, I'm trying to be nice to people like that working in life because they're, you know, it's hard work and they're, they're not making a lot of money. But in that uh, in that vein, at some uh, subways now, they uh, when you go to pay with your card, he comes up and says, "How much would you like to tip?" It's a bit weird for a subway, right? How much would you like to tip? Well, you know, and, and like 19 times out of 20, the person serving you or making your sandwich isn't like really bubbly and asking about your day and stuff like that. They're just they're automatons. They're just sitting there, you know doing their thing so you know you actively have to if you don't want to leave a tip you actually have to say skip skip the tip and you know what though restaurant tweed subway and tweed doesn't doesn't have the tip thing so i know that it's an owner's discretion whether or not you want to put the tip thing on there right but yesterday i stopped but that's the way that we just passed actually and the girl making my sandwich she was nice um she was pleasant in the exchange of information going back and forth <laughs> She was really fast, faster than I've seen anybody in a long time. Uh, and that's a person, you know, it was a good experience, and that's a person I may have left a tip for. Except that um, she, she made my whole sandwich, but she didn't ring me out. There was a guy there at the cash register ringing me out. So, and I know that they put in their, uh, they put in their own pin codes to when they're logging into the cash register. So who does my tip go to? Does it go to him? Or can he direct it to her somehow? Or do they just share it? Sharing it would be dumb. Like, I'm not, I want to tip the person that I had a good experience with, not the whole dang restaurant, you know? But you know what you guys think about that sort of sort of stuff in the, in the comments. Anyway, I got 20 something minutes until I'm there. That's not far at all, you know? And I saw two deer on the way out. They were talking about how many deer there were in the area. Two. I saw two. I was just walking right down the road. Right? It was right. You know, it was right at the guy's place. I hadn't driven even 30 seconds. This, this doe walking down the middle of the road. They got lots of doe. They got lots of bass. What am I doing wrong? Harder pull. Well, <laughs> so we're in uh, butt fuck nowhere, uh, and uh, I just bought a charge controller. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to put this in the car and film at the same time. Uh, yeah, new uh, races. This is what I need to upgrade my system, and I. Uh, <laughs> bit of filming here and I needed it 
uh, that's my charge controller that I need for more more capacity. Homeowner's a nice guy. Talks constantly. <laughs> Hard to film when he's doing that. Uh, here's the the solar power array. Uh, the system is different kind of system through what we're used to. These round tubes are different. The rest of the structure looks similar to what we used uh, on the on the previous one, but these round tubes are interesting. Big system, 450 watt panels. Uh, they also have cells in the back, which uh, we'll put them to 500 watts. Why do they have cells in the back? Well, if they get reflection off of snow, yeah, you can you can make more power. Weird, huh? Uh, I never saw that one coming. By the way, pretty neat system, pretty neat place. I don't usually bring the dogs, but this is the second day here. I don't usually bring the dogs when I don't quite know the situation where we're going. You know, if they're gonna, if we're gonna be by a busy road, then I definitely don't want Willow there because she's a roamer, and she will roam. Um, but I saw here, like yesterday, we we're on the, you know, the dead end of a very long and remote road. We didn't see a vehicle all day long yesterday on the, on the path there. Just like an ATV came by. <laughs> so. Hopefully I don't have any boogers showing. It's cold this morning. Anyway, cool system. Now that I have that charge controller, I'm going to be looking at buying panels. I want to go from... So i got 9 panels at 240 watts. And I want to go to 15 panels at 390 watts. That's like triple the size, but... Boy, that would be really handy in the wintertime. Anyway, it's going to depend on Ray's time, because I'm going to need his help to... <laughs> What's, what's really funny here, um, so the homeowner has lots of great equipment to uh, do stuff with. And he's digging the trench for putting in the cable. And he's hit some rather large rocks here. And uh, he's <laughs> kind of winding, you're winding your way around these rocks and then around that rock and then... I, over top of that rock. Can't get around that one. Yeah. The second one. And you're gonna build up that area a little bit. Quite yeah. a bit, but it needed it for the to keep the water away anyhow. Yeah, yeah. So I it can worked see out that. Good that way. Can you say that again? You might be a redneck when your outdoor furniture used to be your indoor furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not soaking wet? Like. <laughs> Okay, by sheer coincidence, um, a, a friend of Ray's, who's been friends for a long time, and a guy who used to work on our solar power crew, has relatives on the same lake. <laughs> we're not... 200 yards down the road. We're, we're, yeah, 200 yards down the road. <laughs> That's quite a coincidence. Anyway, nice little place. A couple of the cottages here. Like this little solar power setup, unless they're all strung together, which then would not be very good. Hello. Yeah. Please tell me those aren't strung together. Yep, both parallel. Both old system. Not the uh, ideal for the battery house. Yeah. What well, I, I was going to say. Uh, I do like the cable management up there, though. That's nice. I do that up for him. Oh. And the, ooh, this duct tape is. Yeah, uh, just handy for those uh, at a certain height <laughs> or sobriety. Test. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. goodness. Yeah, that would ruin your day. That would. Yeah. Save on dentistry, too. <laughs> awesome. Oh, some nice board and batten going on here. Oh, I just saw a squirrel. I just saw a squirrel. Your shop is way cleaner than mine. I assume it was more of the. Let's go take a look at the lake. Oh, nice little firewood shed. Beauty. Oh, look at the rock here. Oh, look at this. Oh, guys. Holy crap. Holy crap. 
You know what this reminds me of? You know what this looks just like? Um, when I was a kid, my grandparents had a cottage on Lake Joseph in the Muskoka area. Beautiful area. You know anything about the, the Muskokas. And the cottage was up on a hill. And you go down and there's a dock and there was a boathouse too. So standing here looking down like this and seeing the water like that. Oh, I've got some extreme nostalgia going on right now. Extreme. We didn't have nice steps and a railing. <laughs> it's kind of treacherous going down to the water. What on earth is that boat on? <laughs> is that an island? You can do it, Junebug. You can do it. <laughs> That's so interesting. It's like a some kind of platform. It's just growing grass now. Oh, look at this place. Somebody give me a fishing rod. Floating dock. There are a few other cottages around here. But apparently this is still the uh, the lake with the 10 pound uh, bass. I imagine they're large mouth he was talking about. Nice little boat. I wonder if we can, I wonder if I can stand on that. I can stand on this. <laughs> wow, I can. And hey, look at the shells. Huh. Oh, I'm drifting away. <laughs> drifting away. <laughs> I put all my weight on it. Pretty cool. Look at the ducks out in case he wants to do some duck hunting. Canoes over there. Oh, this is this is a nice spot, guys. Oh. And this the sound of water lapping against a dock. Oh. I'm shuddering. Anyway, head back up. I wonder what what's been coming down here. <laughs> The other one I got mounted on the tree fort, so when you get up the ladder, you can grab the, the other bar right there, and then that way you can see. It's very slow, I guess. Yeah, yeah. That's why you get that tight, tight really good terrain on it. Yeah, I worked with it a little bit. And, uh, oh, I hate sawing that shit. Yeah, well, we were making mallets out of it. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. You're welcome to come here anytime. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Mark was telling me about a place nearby where uh, there's a river under a bridge. Turns out the bridge is pretty tall. It says there's lots of limestone. <clears throat> and we're going to check it out. I'm definitely getting my exercise these days. And uh, it's 
City Girl's coming in tomorrow. You having a good day? So it means I'm coming out again, although I might only come out halfway. I don't think she's got too much heavy stuff. It's always nice coming home, right? So speaking about solar and why did I buy that new charge controller? Well, here it goes. I mean, we all kind of know that the real challenge to providing enough power is the winter time when there just isn't enough sun in the sky due to weather, due to trees, due to just very short days. Um, and that's my real challenge is having enough power in the winter time. So when I, when I bought these panels, it was 12 years ago and these panels reach 240 watts and 240 watts was kind of right in the ball game, right? They were big, big power panels back then. But now you can get the same size panels for three, you know, with 390 watts. So, you know, Ray took one look at what we've got up there. Nine panels, well, I guess 10 if you're actually counting. 10 panels, but I'm not using that tenth, that last panel on the on the far side there, the far right. I'm actually only using nine, and that had to do with the number of panels on the string. The strings have to be equal sizes, and anyway, not using that last one. So Ray took one look at that and said, hey, you can put 15 panels up there pretty easily. I guess another row along the bottom and filling up the row on the right. I might have to move that support rod coming off the, uh, the chimney. But yeah, if I get another five panels on there, then that's 15 panels. Uh, that's three strings of five, or is it five thr strings of three? I'm not sure what we would do, but um, that changes my system from something like 2,160 watts to 5,300 and something watts. So more than tripling the size of the system. That would be great, but you know my charge, my charge controller I have can't handle that many, that much power. So I needed an additional charge controller and my inverter. Well. I need to replace my inverter. It's just been really quirky, really buggy. It cuts out sometimes when I got the generator running. Sometimes it doesn't do anything. I can't turn it on if there's no solar coming in. It's it's really weird. It's wonky. I need a new inverter. So really, the whole system needs you know overhauling, updating. So of all the components in my system, this is the only one that would stay. I can still put 60 amps through here, and I think the new charge controller, the other charge controller is an 80 amps, I think, which is what we would need. It's actually a different brand, a different model and a different brand. Do I care that they don't look the same? Probably not. I think one thing I will do through, through all this is uh, take this, this with the other charge controller, and put them on the other side of the building. This fan comes on in here, and it makes a hell of a racket. The last thing you want to do when you're sitting out here, you know, in the summertime, enjoying the day, is have this fan come on, and it's really loud and whiny. So, get rid of that sucker. Put them both on the other side, bring the cables underneath the cabin, up the wall. It also means the cables coming off the roof. Right now they're coming off the gable end, over there. But I would bring them straight off, straight down the roof, and right beside the the porch. And then mount those two things under the under the roof there somehow, or or maybe build a new, another new shelter to keep the rain off of them. And this guy, of course, this is the inverter that needs to go. So yeah, I'd mount everything on the other side of the cabin, except that my batteries are right on the other side as well, and my electrical panel. Anyway, there you go. That's the up update on my solar. Notice my cable management? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Whatever, man. And none of that stuff is cheap, of course. Um, I do get good deals because I'm getting it through Ray. The charge controller actually was... Uh, I got it from the homeowner of the place we were just at. Uh, sorry, not Alan's place. The place where we were doing the install. Um, he'd bought a bunch of equipment, found out it all didn't work very well together. <laughs> so he was selling it. So Ray made him an offer and the guy accepted and... Now I owe Ray some money. <laughs> I think I already owe him a bunch of money too. Anyway, yeah.
Well, it's late Thursday night. I'm editing this video right now. And I've had a few beers, so that makes it a little bit challenging. It's always fun. <laughs> and uh, I can't keep editing at the moment because I've run out of disk space. This is going to always be the plight of the videographer or the, video, the YouTuber. There's over 170 video files in the folder that I'm working with right now. <laughs> it's been a crazy week. <clears throat> um, so I'm trying to move files around and clear up some space and I gotta buy more drives and that's always expensive and I think everything is expensive. I gotta buy a new seat for my ATV. He called me up earlier today and he was like, 490 bucks for a new seat. Wow! I spent $600 on a charge controller. <laughs> ah, crazy. Anyway, I've had a few beers. So, uh, while I'm waiting for this process to complete. But we got to end this video with something. <laughs> so I thought I'd um, do that. City Girl said to me a while back, she said, I want you to put a picture on the fridge of us. So which picture do you choose? And she gave me a, like a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, a bunch to choose from. And I chose this one. Oh my goodness. It's too dark. You can't see. Oh, there you go. Can you see it now? Isn't that a nice picture? If I hold it like this, you can see my monitor in the background. <laughs> Trying to copy files and crap. That's nice. I think we were at my, uh, my mom's. She does a shaking trees in the fall and we all go out and shake trees and the leaves come off. And it's quite nice. Anyway, City Girl will be here tomorrow. Fairly early, in fact. Uh, looking forward to walking out and <laughs> meeting her. <laughs> we can, I guess I'll walk out with my backpack and see what I can bring in. She's got a bunch of stuff to bring in. Oh, they're such... Okay, taking the ATV in for service was such bad timing this week, but I've run out of good time to do this. Um, uh, let's see, I ordered a generator. It's over at the Wizards. <laughs> An e-bike came in for me to review. It's over at the Wizards. I can't bring any of this stuff in. Um, hunting season begins in like a week and a half, and I don't... <laughs> I hope to get my ATV back before that. You know, because sometimes you need your ATV. Like, if I if I shoot a deer across the pond... Oh, by the way, check out... I went to the trail... Oh, my gosh. I went to the trail cam earlier today. Here, look at this. So, I don't, I'm not sure if that's the same buck. In the second video, it's kind of hard to tell, you know, you just get a glimpse of them. Um, one, I think one was on the 12th, one was on the 21st. So, like, as I said earlier in other videos, I got deer showing up, like, once a week at the, right across the pond there at the, at the, at the Salt Lake. And, um, which is good. I don't know if that was the same deer in the video, it probably doesn't matter. But I don't like the fact that one was really early in the morning and one was in the evening. <laughs> Both times, you can't shoot. <laughs> you can only shoot within a half an hour of um, sunrise. So that's not great. But anyway, it's still nice to see them over there. Um, but, <laughs> if I draw this back, um, if I get a deer over there, I'm gonna take the boat over there to get it, but I still need to get that deer up this freaking hill and with these drugs that I'm on and I can't take 10 steps without taking a rest um, I was really hoping on my ATV to help me with that uh, but I don't know when I'm getting my ATV back and uh, I imagine there's going to be lots of things wrong with it and expensive to fix and, of course anyway uh, live stream Friday night City Girl will be here oh shoot if it's this Friday, the 28th, that you're watching, if you're watching before the 28th Friday Night live stream, it's going to be our special Halloween live stream. Yeah, that'll be fun. Um, special features that you only see during live stream. Uh, sorry. <laughs> special features.
special features that you only see during Halloween live stream? Yeah. That'll be fun. Anyway, I should close this up before I say anything else stupid. <laughs> Love you all! And we'll see you next time. Peace out!